What's going on, everybody? Thought I'd share with you guys a workout I did the other day that was uh, t definitely a pretty hard workout, but this is a workout that you can make it as easy, as hard as you want to do. And really, I'm not trying to really just show you guys this specific workout because I know not everybody's going to have this equipment. I just wanted to show you guys or give you guys some ideas of how you can kind of segment and make your own little circuit. Um, a lot of my workouts lately, and especially the last, or really this last year, majority of it's been total gym work. And uh, I'd, I wanted to kind of just show you guys if you have different equipment, you're thinking about getting different equipment, how to kind of mix in some other stuff and kind of like a sequence or a circuit. Because uh, to me, as I always kind of say in this channel, I my workouts are always fun. They're never grueling. Uh, I shouldn't say they're never hard. Or I don't like, I try to avoid hard workouts. This was kind of a hard workout. But my point is they're always kind of interesting and they're not dull, they're not boring. I never feel like I'm like dreading my workout session. So. And that's where I think the total gym comes in because it's a natural kind of fun piece of equipment. But everything I get is is stuff that I kind of generally like to use. So my point in kind of showing you this is making kind of a fun but different workout that can kind of mix things up uh, with based on the equipment that you have. So what I'm doing in this workout, and I'll put timestamps down below to kind of see that if you guys are curious what I actually did at the start of each sequence and these little circuits. I'll also link some of the equipment that I have down below. But what I'm basically doing in this workout is I'm basically kind of thinking of I want to do some pushing. I want to do some pulling. You know, pushing is going to work shoulders, chest, uh, triceps, stuff like that. I want to do some pulling for back, biceps, and I want to do some maybe some core or rotational work, or maybe some even some abdominal work, um, even some lower back work as well. And I want to do some leg stuff, and that's basically what I'm doing. So I'm kind of picking some exercises that will work those areas in kind of this little bit of a circuit. And I kind of I think I get to three circuits, and that's this took me about. I'd say 45 minutes to an hour, believe it or not. You could probably bust through this super quick if you wanted to, uh, but I did three sets across the board. I think the last circuit I only got two, but I did about three sets across the board, uh, somewhat higher rep range on these rows. I did about 200 meters, and I count the rowing. I said this many times. I have a whole video on uh, rowing. I should show more videos about rowing, but rowing I kind of count as like a leg dominant. I put that into kind of like my leg day stuff. You guys don't see me do it, but I love the row, row machine for a number of reasons. Uh, this cable rotation, excellent uh, cardio, I shouldn't say cardio, excellent core piece of equipment for obliques. Uh, and even these uh, dumbbell presses, this is like the third set of this first circuit. I get up to 90 pounds and I haven't done dumbbell presses in a long time. And that just got again, just goes to show, I did a whole video about this too, just how good your strength transfers over from the total gym to dumbbell weights. So I, was, I could have done more uh, sets with that, but just because I knew I had so much stuff kind of planned for this workout, I didn't, but my point was, upper body strength switching from total gym to free weight stuff definitely transfers over and that's what i think I mean, i'm not saying to get exactly everything i have here but this is just to give you an idea about like this is a very minimal setup uh and initially when i made this channel i really wanted to showcase kind of minimal low footprint stuff i really even had made a whole lot of stuff on the channel with that uh, so that's what I kind of want to show you guys. I, mean, I love bands. Um, obviously, I love my Total Gym. love the Weeder Ultimate Body Works. Uh, a pair of dumbbells, like I always said, is always handy. It, it, if, if anything, to be totally honest, if there's something I don't use as much of, it's probably the dumbbells. But I will say, I always look that they're there because I think there's some value in picking up heavy weight once in a while. So what you're seeing me do here, if it wasn't obvious, is I kind of change the circuit up a bit. I'm going into, I got the resistance band set up. I did some rows, again, for some pulling action in this circuit. Uh, and then I got some, I loaded on the, if you guys noticed from the last video, I loaded on those bands underneath the undercarriage. I just did a video before, prior to this about where to attach band sites uh, for these weighted squats. Then I'm going in and kind of counting this kind of one exercise, doing some resistance band pressing, and then kind of super studying that with uh, some resistance band flies. Those are some of my favorite exercises. Uh, and that's just a great, I mean, what I'm doing here is utilizing all this equipment that I got. So I'm using the total gym for the weight bench, which is handy. Even though I got a bench, I just, half the time I just kind of utilize the weight bench half the time. Um, adding another weight, another resistance band here for extra weight on this squat. Uh, I utilize that squat stand a lot or that like squat stand for like pull-ups, anchoring my resistance bands to stuff. Uh, so definitely something, that's something else that I highly recommend people check out if they don't already have that. Uh, this exercise is something that looks kind of deceiving because it looks pretty easy. Like these like kind of a uh, resistance band presses. It's fairly lightweight here. I'm using those Undersun Elite Bands. Both those are Undersun brands. Those are like, this is like the, their camo color uh, versus their like bright orange one. And I'm just kind of mixing up a little bit, but these look deceiving, but if you, it's all a matter of really repetition and kind of feeling it in the muscles. So even though it seems like that, that kind of resistance wouldn't be too difficult. I was actually kind of feeling it. I was more sore in my 
chest doing those resistance band presses than I was from doing the uh, heavy dumbbell stuff. And as I was kind of alluding to before, the, one of the values of dumbbells, I know they're kind of expensive, and this is kind of like power blocks because they're so they're so compact, is that I think there's there is some value, I think, in just lifting kind of heavy weight once in a while. Not that I'm saying you have to, because I think you get a lot of those benefits in working your back and just pulling from a total gym, but once in a while, I think there's something to that, just kind of doing that. Um, with that resistance band squat you guys saw there a second ago, a lot of that is just kind of, I did a lot of reps. I think I did about 20 to 30 repetitions here. And then this is something else too. If, if you don't have a heavy dumbbell weight, get some, uh, get off the total gym if you're talking about leg day. And just do some body weight squats. Um, resistance band squats are definitely awesome, but definitely tons underrated thing that I should probably showcase or at least plug a lot is just doing some just some regular body weight squats. A lot of value in just the integrity of your knees, hips, ankle flexibility. I think everybody, if you can, uh, granted everyone's different, is they should be able to get into that deep squat position uh, if you can. I'm not saying to force it, but I think there's some value into deep squatting and doing that uh, without pain, of course. Uh, you guys saw me do the use those pull-ups just to get a little more repetitions in there. I think I was getting like tw 10 to 12 uh, just with the throwing the bands up there to kind of do an assisted pull-ups. Uh, this front rack squat, again, I think I did about 8 to 12 each side. You guys saw me do those pull-ups, or the, I'm sorry, those sit-ups in the total gym. That was just something, uh, I don't do that often, but I'm going to slowly start doing some more abdominal work. A lot of people are asking questions about that, so I'll probably do that in the near future. Uh, but uh, probably not my favorite thing to do as far as abdominals, but I figure, you know, I haven't done them in a while. Just some basic sit-ups, uh, just kind of throw those in there. And that's like with a lot of this stuff, guys. At the very least, it seems like if you guys love doing the total gym like I do, and you could do this, you know, every day, that's great. I mean, then just you know have at it. But nothing's wrong as far as I'm my opinion. If you want to just mix it up, but just can make the workouts just a little bit different. It doesn't even have to be all these exercises. It could be two, maybe one more ex one more exercise off the machine with some other piece of equipment. I think that's. Just, it just kind of mixes things up a bit. Because I think a big thing, I'll make a video about this in the future when people get kind of burned out uh, with a total gym or why, why people quit it. I think, yeah, there's a value. There's there's some aspect of like just not using it and you kind of just don't use it anymore. But there's also that aspect of just home gym fitness in general, which is why I kind of avoided it, was people just start feeling like it just gets boring. I mean, you're in the same space every day with the same piece of equipment. So if you bought a total gym, like this is the only thing I'm going to use. I definitely think of all the things I have, I could probably never get sick of that among everything. But there's something to be said about just adding in some extra equipment. So if this, as this video is kind of wrapping up here, you guys are seeing I'm just kind of finishing up with arms. Uh, I just want to think that, just want to give you guys an idea. If you want to think of easy circuit, mix and match exercises, but try and think of a push, pull, legs, uh, and then some maybe some core stuff those little areas and general areas and just kind of pick and choose some exercises and then you can want to include some extra single joint exercises like i'm doing here just with like some arms uh just for some aesthetic stuff it could be shoulder stuff as well it could be things like calves it could be more core stuff or like planks or whatever uh, then just kind of throw that in at the end but you can see I, this took me about 45 minutes to an hour this was a pretty hard workout this is awesome. Doesn't have, doesn't have to be grueling. This could you could take your time with this workout, uh, put some music on, and then just kind of slowly get through all these things and get a lot of good quality work in in a decent circuit. So kind of a ramble video, but just wanted to share you guys uh, some different ideas to approach the machine or the equipment and give you guys some other ideas about putting stuff together. So hopefully that was informative. I'll see you guys in the next video.